So this is my L3. This is fitting. Small steps are also progress. So very fitting, isn't that? Um, there's a piece of uh, candy in here. Um, so thank you to Jen and her team for this. And she does send an invoice, which I will check when I'm done, because just to make sure I've had things forgotten before, which she has fixed right away. So I went in, I think twice, three times. I think I went in Friday once for the my must-haves. Okay, let me just tell you a little trick with L3 is go in before she does the sale and get your like add something to your cart and get all your information in there and because my computer saves my name and stuff and then like then when the sale starts put all your stuff in and take out like the one item that you had and usually it will remember my name and stuff so I don't have to enter that and then my computer is really smart it remembers my card information and then I can check out really quick and like I said I have I had two lists one was must have and two was go back and try and see if you can get it and then I went back in a third time because I, there was some stuff still left on Saturday and that were in like the fresh or something category. And I thought, well, I'm going to try those. Okay. So I got a lot of good things. I'm not sad about it. I don't feel bad about it because I miss, I skipped last month because I just had enough and I didn't want to get anything else. So, um, I don't feel bad for what I get. Yeah. I just don't. Okay, this was what I put in there before the sale started because I wanted this and it was in the scoopables because she didn't restock scoopable. It was all these chunks. So this is cotton candy craze because I love cotton candy scents. So this is cotton candy, cotton candy frosting, blue raspberry cotton candy frosting. I found out that she puts these on here because of summer. So I didn't know that. I was watching someone else's video and they said that. So it's not mine. I didn't know that. And literally this just smells like cotton candy frosting. Which I already have cotton candy frosting, so I was kind of hoping it was like a little bit stronger. But again, I know these have been sitting up for like a month or maybe on the website. I won't use this and probably for a while. So it usually what I find with these is that it does get stronger. And I'm not mad about it. It's a good scent. I was just hoping it was a little bit more like the blue raspberry could smell a little bit more. All I smell in this is cotton candy frosting right now. If you have this, let me know. Um, you do get one spoon free with them, and I, I don't have this blue. Isn't that funny? Every time I've ordered Scoopable, it's been a different spoon every single time. I will say that I love these spoons. I'm glad she does one. If you order six of these Scoopables, you're still only getting one scoop per order. Um, but it doesn't matter. You'll love it. You won't break it. They're fabulous. She also does sell them on the site individually, so if you really want more, you can buy more. She's got a ton of peanuts in here. All right, I'm gonna get rid of these because otherwise I can't do this. Also say that it's not been super hot here, so I don't anticipate these are gonna be a problem. Okay, she did restock the bougie bars, which I love. So these, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven warmers in my, in my living room kitchen area. That is where I put like, my hair is crazy. It's raining and we were running in the rain. Um, so I find that these are perfect for my room. I can use them all at one time. They break pretty easy. This one's Strawberry Pound Cake Espresso Don't Crust Dreams. I got this in a sample and I requested this. It's so good. She wasn't taking requests for Lowe's, but if she was, I would request this. This is a fabulous Strawberry Pound Cake with that Espresso and the Don't Crust Dreams. This is such a good bakery coffee blend. I love them. I do. I have to say that I really liked when she did the pride, like whatever hat towel she has on here. I thought that was really cute. I love these. I just like the extra little details in that. Okay, this one is Salem. This one is you are sure to get accused of witchcraft with the seductive blend of blackberry, raspberry cream, and lemon ice box pies. Okay then. So this was, is this like a fall thing she did, right? Well, this is good. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. Oh, this is really good. You definitely get the blackberries. The raspberry cream is very creamy. And the lemon ice box, I'm not smelling a ton of. This is fabulous. Fabulous has been my new word if you haven't caught on to that. This is so good. I love this. And if I'm quiet, it's because my kids are out there and my husband is right below me. So my studio 
basically when we built our home our studio it's basically your space above your garage is wasted space right well we built our house so we we i wanted a studio because i i do photography on the side and i wanted a studio space and a crafting room and storage so a quarter of this space above my garage is storage and it's like a you know the ceiling curves up and then in my studio it's two walls are all windows and then I have two skylights so and this is where I used to do lives for my other business I had um, so it's like my husband's right below me and working in the garage <laughs> okay leaves I would love I would have loved this in a loaf but again I requested this because she wasn't pouring loaves she's pouring the bougie bars and then doing these chunk things whatever they're called chunk muffins slices I don't know and I had this candle from Bath and Body for like two years. I finally warmed it on one of my hot plates and was blown away at how much I liked it. So, and I will say two of these scents I asked her to pour. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one. But just so you know, don't stress if you miss something from them because they will pour it again. So don't get stressed if you miss a scent. She, her and her team are fabulous. Okay, so just try not to get upset. They do a great job. This is banana nut bread. Today is October 3rd. So Palo Santo Malo Sugar Cookie Royal. I love her today is October 3rd blend. I'm sorry, but it's the best. Oh, this is good. Who, I don't know who requested this one, but this is probably one of the best banana nut breads I've smelled. It's not runty in this one. Oh my goodness. My son that he and I went shopping today, he makes a killer banana nut bread. I taught him how to make it. I also taught him how to make zucchini bread, but this is so good. This is not runty. I would actually love that in a loaf as well. Okay, banana nut bread, buttered popcorn, zucchini bread, because I love popcorn. I love it in scents. This is really good. Gosh, I love popcorn. So I do smell a slight note of the banana nut bread, but the buttered popcorn is like salty buttered popcorn. And then a slight bit of zucchini bread. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. So I will also say, request stuff in the different smaller shapes when she does restocks because then if she pours it, then you can find out if it's loaf worthy or not. Because warming this, then you'll know. Because these are the trigs, I think, or something. This one was, again, she had this in stock from last time because she didn't pour these, but I didn't order last month, so this was still there. This is one I wanted, honey. I washed the kids. This is a Lush scent, and I love it. Um, if you've never been to Lush, you need to go there. Oh, it does. Oh, my gosh. It takes me back. Oh, and the see, this has the pride hat on her on it this is so good oh my gosh i just love lush so this just brings me back to memories when my kids were like one and two and giving them a bath with this soap i just love this did i just get wax on my lipstick no okay it's just been one of those days i did get samples we'll go over those at the end okay so i did get a few minis because like i said i went back in my third order and added that and then I added stuff that was already on her website for my last order because she combined all of these together for shipping. She does that automatically, thankfully. She does that. Rose Girls does not. This is Dreamweaver. It's lavender cream sugar cookie dough bread. No, I've had this before and I've used all of it. And although I have a lot of bedtime blends, this is honestly one of my favorites. Just the sweetness from the cookie dough and the lavender. This is just a nice bedtime one so that's dream weaver i really really enjoy that um this one was a recommendation i don't remember if jessica recommended this the seaside serenity vanilla lace or was this nicole i think it was maybe one more scent was in it but i thought oh this oh this is good oh my gosh who recommended this if you're watching will you tell me so it's Seaside Serenity Vanilla Lace. This is so good. So I don't even know if this is still on the website. It very well could be. Oh my gosh. This is like a C note. I don't know how to describe this. 
this is good. Wow. I love like sea green ocean notes. This is so good. <laughs> I would love this in a loaf. I wonder if this is Jessica that had this. This is fabulous. So good. <laughs> okay, oops. and then I got this one was also a recommendation. Alexander Malcolm, Blue Sugar and Freshly Printed Books. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Oh, the blue sugar. This is really an interesting smell. I like that. I don't even know how to describe this. It's supposed to smell like freshly printed books. What does... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it kind of does. It's kind of a... Sweet... Fresh scent. Oh, that is really good. This will be interesting to warm. So I know this was popular. I think this is the one that sold out and then she re poured it because somebody missed it. And so she was nice enough to re pour this. So this is very good. I like that. I'm happy about taking people's recommendations once in a while, okay? Because you're going to see now most of these that I got are like from the bakery or coffee. So this one is Get It Lover. It's Bakery Bomb Pretzel. Today is October 3rd. Oh my gosh. If you like pretzels, I know a few of you do. Catherine. Oh my gosh. So this is Get It Loser. Bakery Bomb Pretzel. And today is October 3rd. Oh, this is a fabulous pretzel. There is no yeast in this. This is phenomenal and the today's October 3rd is not overpowering the pretzel this is yummy I gotta take a drink of my Gatorade because I have a massive headache from no caffeine this is a trick I guess I learned in the hospital it's a Gatorade zero because I don't want the calories but it has electrolytes in it so when I had patients who had epidural and then they got an epidural headache we would try a bunch of tricks first and that was one of them is giving them coke or electrolytes and a lot of water and then if the headache didn't go away we called the anesthesia to do a blood patch or whatever was needed okay so I know you didn't think I was gonna leave a haul without I put a spell on you this you'll see my empties this week I actually finished a scoopable of this because I love this bakery. It's cinnamon sugar, not spicy. It is not spicy cinnamon. French baguettes with our top secret bakery bomb blend. I don't know what her bakery bomb blend is, but I wish she would add it to more things. And maybe she does because she won't tell us. I don't know. This is one of the best. If you've not tried this, I would encourage you to. It's cinnamon, flaky, crunchy goodness. Oh my gosh. It's it's literally a French baguette, like out of the oven with cinnamon on it. It's it's just, it's so good warmed. It's so, so, so good. And even my scoopables, I had it in for two days and I didn't want to take it out because I just love it. But after about two days, um, and I turned my warmers off at night, it was getting a little weak, so I changed it out. But my scoopables even were good. So I really want this in a loaf, but I didn't order it in the pre-order. So I know the pre-orders are going to go out soon, and I didn't order it because I had a lot at that time. I should have ordered the I Put a Spell on You. Um, I will request it in the next pour for a loaf. Otherwise, I'll watch the D-Stash pages and see if I can find a loaf in it. Because it's really, it's fabulous. Okay, Hannibal, Cranberry Apple Cider Pecan Glaze Cookies. So a lot of this you're going to find is very fall, and this smells fabulous. The cranberry is wonderful in this. You can definitely smell the apple cider. Pecan glaze cookies. Maybe a little bit of pecan. But I smell a lot of apple cider with cranberry. This is really good. Wow. Look at the color in this. It's like, it's cranberry, which I love. Or No, it's burgundy. Burgundy with the orange. I love, if you guys watched my last video, because I'm going to put this up today. It's probably going to take a long time because it's a long video. Um this 
I love the shape of these. I just think they're so pretty and I enjoy them a lot. I can get quite a bit of uh, melts out of this. Children of the Corn. It's blueberry cornbread brown sugar pound cake. I don't generally like blueberry. But here's my thought about L3. It's if you're going to try a scent, they're the ones to try because you spend $3 or $4 on something versus some of the companies when you order pre-order, it's only a loaf. And then you're like, well, what if I hate it? And then you have to de-stash it. This is actually not very um, strawberry or blueberry forward. It's more of the brown sugar cornbread, which I'm okay with. Again, everything changes on you warm when you warm it. This is blue and yellow, Down syndrome colors. So very good. I'm glad it's not blueberry forward, but if you like blueberry, you'd be kind of disappointed. Okay, this one is buttered popcorn green apple salted caramel. <laughs> These are very, so these are very fall scents. Oops. Oh, this smells like something I own already. What does this smell like? This smells like another vendor's wax that I own. This is very interesting to me. It almost smells like a, just more of a, a caramel apple. I don't really smell a lot of the popcorn it smells like a caramel apple. I'm not mad at it. It just doesn't smell like what I thought it was going to, but remember these were poured recently. So I have truly noticed that when I, I will put dates on the little top up here. I have noticed that when I go back, they they do smell a lot different once I check in on them, like in a couple weeks or even a month. This one has rosemary sage, rosemary mint, Aveto type, and then it says dirt. So I went back for this one when I got those bitty loaves because it said dirt. Okay, I want some more dirt in this, but I know that might be weird to you, but I really do like an earthy note to my stuff. This is really good. Gosh, the rosemary is strong. <laughs> the rosemary sage is strong in this. I don't smell really, maybe because, oh, is the rosemary mint Aveda, is that because it's rosemary mint shampoo? And then a little bit of dirt. I can smell a little bit of earthy in here. But I was hoping for a little bit more dirt. It's very good. I'm not going to be mad at that for warming it. I really like that. And this is definitely not one of my normals that I would pick. But I'm happy I tried it. And again, that's the point of these. is Don't be afraid, especially when she offers them in this size. Because you're not, like I said, you're not spending a huge amount of money to try a scent if you love it. And they are so great about pouring Jennifer and her team about pouring your requests. I'm truly they are if they don't pour it one month They'll pour it the next and remember she asks in all different kinds of shapes So maybe she doesn't pour it in your bougie bars Well, then ask her in the fluted tarts or ask her in the bunts or ask her in a loaf This one is lavender malo bbw type cotton candy strawberry. Okay oh, This is really good. Oh my gosh, I definitely get the cotton candy in this one a little bit of lavender, which isn't bad, and a little bit of sweetness of the strawberry, but definitely cotton candy heavy. And the lav this would be a nice in my bedroom too, because you just get a little bit of that lavender, but this is very much cotton candy strawberry forward. I'm not mad at that. All right, we're about halfway through. <laughs> this is Nightmare on My Street. It's salted caramel, BBW type, pumpkin, pecan waffles, praline glaze. I love all these scents. I love that she did that. Oh, this is good. Because then, like, when she starts pouring loaves, it's really getting dark out. Oh, this is so good. Honestly, I really smell strong pumpkin pecan waffles with a little bit of salty note in there. Not sure about praline. I smell more of the salt, salty note. So, very good. I love um, pumpkin pecan waffles. Okay, this one is Predator. It's Leaves Palo Santo Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love leaves because you saw I bought it single, so of course when Predator had it in it, I was going to get it. I love red. I love red, even though sometimes these like are hard to clean out the dishes. But now, this is very strong on the um, leaves, and the, pump, the Palo Santo is pretty strong in it too. If you're not a big Palo Santo, I wouldn't get this because this is very much Palo blend. And pe Pumpkin Pecan Waffles... It's very much leaves and Palo Santo. 
I don't smell a whole lot of pumpkin pecan waffles. So Predator, just be mindful that this one I would say is, and if you have it and it warms differently, let me know, but I would definitely say this is heavy on the leaves and the Palo Santo, not on the pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not mad about that, I'm just saying, okay? Okay, this one I ordered two. It's because, listen to the description. Smoke from the Black Fame Flame Candle Pumpkin Seeds Oud and Candy Corn. It's, do you know what it is? The Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus. I ordered a shirt from Amazon with them. I can't wait to get it. So, the, okay. You can smell the, is there vanilla oud in this? Smoke from the Black Flame Candle Pumpkin Seeds Oud and Candy Corn. I really smell like an oud note in this. And I only know that because of some other wax that I have that's oud. It's O-U-D. It's good. It's definitely not what I was thinking. I was thinking, I was imagining this more pumpkin with like a, a, a smoky note from like crispy pumpkin seeds. I don't know why I was thinking that. But it's okay. It's good. It almost is a little bit kind of masculine note in here. Well, I got two of them. I'm not mad about it. Um, I don't think I would, unless it warms differently, then I would not order this again because it's a little bit masculine. I was I was really thinking like this where you take over a fire and you cook pumpkin seeds and you throw in a little bit of seasoning and some sweetness. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, again, if you want to know how something warms, I when I do my melting basket on Sundays and I go through stuff, that's where I write my mini reviews. So if you want to know, then once I warm it, it'll be in there. Okay, this one is Sandy Claus. It's eggnog, vanilla marshmallow smoothies. I love eggnog smells. I only have a couple vendor wax that have eggnog in them, and a lot of people don't do it, and I really like eggnog. This is very good. This is more vanilla marshmallow smoothie with a hint of eggnog. Now, eggnog can come off a little bit. It's not, I don't think it comes off. To my nose, it doesn't come off sour. I really like it. But I was hoping this was stronger on the eggnog. At this point, it's not strong the eggnog. Not bad. It's just I was hoping for more of like an eggnog because that's the first name. Okay, I think this twisty, I'm really confused because... I ordered two of these twisty, and I'm just utterly confused. One was under the bakery, one was under the coffee. But I don't think they're different. This just says buttered popcorn, harvest spice, and cider donuts. This says experience the fall fair with this tasty treat from your favorite clown, and then it says buttered popcorn, harvest spice, and cider donuts. She had one under bakery and one under coffee. So if they smell the same, that's crappy because they shouldn't have done it that way. Um, very much uh, like a spice note in this. Again, I don't smell a lot. A little bit of popcorn, maybe. And cider donuts, maybe a little bit of like a cinnamon from a cider donut. Um, it's it's all right. It's not my favorite, but again, everything warms differently. I've been very surprised with their scents. Okay, now let's try the blue and yellow and see if it smells the same. It does. Yeah, so kind of disappointed because why did she have them in two categories? And just, they're the same. So it's fine, but I just think that's kind of weird when you do that because then it, I just assumed they were, one was coffee and one was bakery. Anyway, Mike Myers, which is Welcome Home Mike, Mikey, cinnamon, sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. I feel like I got all the same stuff. This is very good. I, again, this to me smells more like a caramel apple, strong on that one, and then a hint of the leaves. Very good. I don't know if I get a whole lot of cinnamon sugar cookies. Maybe a little bit of like the crunchiness of a cookie. It's not, I really like that one. That's, and I love the color, it's blue and yellow. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry. All right, that was very good. All right, buttered popcorn, caramelized pralines, caramelized pralines. Why does it have two caramelized pralines? Okay, I'm gonna show you that I'm not crazy. Does that not say caramelized pralines twice? 
buttered popcorn, caramelized pralines, caramelized. Oh, care. Okay. Caramelized and caramelized. Okay, it is two different names. It's caramelized and caramelized. Wow, I didn't realize you could do it two different ways. <laughs> okay. It's very heavy on the pralines, and I have a different blend of pralines, so I really do like pralines. Um, and then you definitely get the buttered popcorn in this one. Very good. Very unique. Who comes up with all these blends, I wonder? That's what I wonder. Who the heck comes up with all of these? This one is better than sex cake, warm vanilla, sugar, hot cocoa, vanilla cookies. I just thought I would try this because it was... Um, a, like had the hot cocoa vanilla cookies and then the better than sex which is a chocolatey cake this is really good mm. I don't generally like chocolate in my wax but this one's really good mm. this is really good I like that I can't wait to warm that that is cool all right let's see what else we got today is October 3rd peak pumpkin pecan waffles because this is just a classic and I actually don't have this in like a blend at my house. I have today's October 3rd in a loaf and I have pumpkin pecan waffles alone in a loaf so I could have made it, but I just wanted this. Oh, it's so good. I just love her pumpkin pecan waffles and I love her today is October 3rd. That is, that's the best, the best blend. Okay, I got two of peanut butter cookie strawberry jam. I think I ordered something similar to this in her um, her pre-sale. She did a peanut butter and jelly. She did a grape one and a strawberry, and I did the strawberry. So I wonder if this is the same. This is really good. Oh, my gosh. Her strawberry jam is really good. It smells like literally you took fresh strawberries and you crushed them up. Very good. Oh, my gosh. The peanut butter cookies. I do definitely get like a peanut butter note in this. So I'm very happy that I got two. I'm very happy. I love peanut butter blends. Okay. This one is Here's Jenny. Pumpkin pecan waffles, pretzel, bakery bomb. Where was that one pretzel? The first one I had. I told you it was amazing. Where was that one? Which one was that? It was a really, really good one. Oh, this one. Get it, loser. I need that in a loaf. Oh, this, oh my gosh, this is really good too, though. Hmm. Oh my, I don't know. This here's Jenny is pretty dang good. Well, one is pumpkin pecan and one is bakery bomb pretzel. Today is October 3rd. So they're different, but I really like that get it loser. And this here's Jenny is fabulous. But I love her pecan pumpkin waffles and the Pretzel Bakery Bomb is very, very good. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. I can see why. I never had this. I think this was in her pre-sale, and I've never had it, and so I was like, I'm going to try this because everybody seems to like it. I can see why they do. Okay. Drums of Autumn, Fallen Leaves, Flaky Pie Crust, and Bakery Bomb. I think I like her Bakery Bomb blend. Oh, this is really good. This one smells like the fallen leaves are almost like you step on leaves in the fall outside. You get that that smell from the fallen leaves. And then you get the pie crust and then the bakery notes in this. So this one is a little di different than just leaves. This one gives me more of the vibe of stepping on the leaves when, when you're outside taking a walk in the, in the fall. That screams Wisconsin. We have beautiful foliage and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I got two Christmas under the tree because this is candy canes, Fraser fir, sugar cookie, gingerbread bread, gingerbread bread, it says, okay. Oh, and I have found that I thoroughly enjoy wood, like Fraser and birch in my wax, who knew? So I don't generally like fresh smells. I love bakery, I love fruity, and I like tree smells. It's gotta be because 
I live in Wisconsin. I was always outside as a kid. My grandpa was like my dad. He died when I was 15, which, yeah, that was another traumatic moment in my life. Um, he used to take me fishing and always outdoors, and we would sit outside and talk. He was a good man. Um, and I think it reminds me of him. And just when we live in Wisconsin, so we have change of seasons, which I love summer only. I don't mind fall because it was my grandpa's and I's favorite time to go take walks and collect leaves. But I am a summer, love the heat. I was born in Florida and lived there for three years. Um, I lived there when I was a nanny and right after high school, in between college and high school. Um, so I love the sun. I am all about 90 degree weather and sitting outside. And when it's 70, I think it's cold. Um, this is so good. I just think this is a great scent. The ca the candy cane is not, I am not a big like minty, minty person, but this just smells literally like Christmas. And the gingerbread is not, it's not, you get the spiciness of the gingerbread, but that's about it. Gosh, this is good. This is cookies under the tree. Again, let me just say that I love that. I can get so many different blends and you can really have an opportunity to try her wax and all different kinds. Um, I don't know that I will order next month unless she does some of my requests. Um, Cause last month I, I asked for quite a few requests and they didn't get poured. So I just kind of skipped because I didn't want to order, you know, like $20 and that's it. I certainly could have, but I just thought I'm going to wait until she pours stuff I want and then I'll order. This is berry waffle cone, very much a traditional berry waffle cone scent. Very good. Very good. So these are my samples. This one is blue Hawaiian pineapple. I love samples. Oh my gosh. I see now I would request this in the scoopable. This is like scoopable, scream scoopable to me. All the blue Hawaiian and then the pineapple. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of a fruity drink on cruise. That is very good. And the last one is graveyard. It's probably not my thing, is it? No, nope, it's more fresh, right? Very good though. Hmm. See, I might get this. I wonder what the scent notes are in this. It's almost got like a little bit of an outdoorsy woodsy kind of. Oh, that's good. See, I love samples because you never know if you're gonna like something and I actually like both of those so that's what I have for you guys thanks for watching I'm sorry this video is so long I'll put a like disclaimer on the beginning of this um this is this was a big order so it was gonna be longer and then when I'm in front of the camera I talk more um my kids are coming to find me so you guys have a wonderful beautiful blessed day bye guys